All right, a quick couple of things before the review starts. Uh, for one thing, I'm sorry it's taking me so long to do a review. I was doing some video experiments and um, I got a lot of rendering errors. And I've been busy in my personal life and um, other stuff to that degree. Unfortunately, now I'm going to have to knock my um, one review a week to possibly one review every two weeks. That's not necessarily all the time, it's just the maximum waiting time. It's been a while, so let's see if I can still do this. Version is a very evil game. Do not be fooled by its sugary visuals. At first you may think it's the most adorable game alive. Unfortunately, that's not the case. I read up on the game a little bit, and apparently it was partially inspired by the, one of the developer's friends having this dream about Zelda 2. Having to go through the same level over and over again, only in a much harder, darker, eviler fashion each and every time just to find a secret exit. That alone is nightmare inducing. The game was made by... I am so sorry, but I cannot pronounce your name. Believe me, I've tried. Anyways, what I thought was a happy little game about a two-eyed flower thing turned out to be... this. The game starts off with a Lovecraft quote and a warning. Those with nervous dispositions, and or children, or both, don't play this. However, you can watch this review. So let's jump right into the mechanics. Let's start off with gameplay as usual. At its heart, it's a little platformer, and of course, everything would work just as you'd expect. Though don't think you can pick up and play this, this takes some getting used to actually. Though you can learn it pretty easily. The main theme of this game is aversing into these alternate versions of all the levels. Sometimes the clouds become solid, sometimes the bushes become solid, sometimes the trees become solid. Most of the time this kills you. Sometimes those blocks that spit out gems... ...don't spit out gems. And are just kind of there. Sometimes you die in a huge pile of gore- This game changes constantly! Every level is quite refreshing compared to the last. It's a custom engine that can load SDL graphics easily. Made in C++. Top that with sharp, yet precise controls, and it's not that bad. Some people consider this a platformer, others call it a collectathon. I disagree. I put this in its own genre of inventive. Really, I've seen no other game like a version, and clearly it is unique. And if you don't think its gameplay is very unique, you'll definitely find its graphics unique. As you go throughout the game and averse into deeper levels, the graphics go from this sugary, saturated, colorful world to this slightly darker version of this world to a very darker version of this world to a creepy version of this world to a scary version of this world to a oh my god WTF version of this world to for lack of a better word, evil. There is one more version, but I rather not spoil it. Because A, it ruins the best part of the entire game, and B, you'll probably have a cardiac arrest if I show it. I do have a very, very tiny gripe with the game. There's no ceiling, and that can be a bit confusing sometimes. Oh well. Tons of music in this game, one for each aversion state, one for the title screen, and I believe one for the end credits. The first aversion state is very sugary, very happy, and it slowly becomes more creepy, and in the last aversion state it's just... undescribable. It goes from being retro to just being scary for lack of any kind of better term. The sound effects are sound effects, and snozberries taste like snozberries. Overall, Aversion is an inventively fun game, and really, if you're looking for something new, it's worth every single moment. It's freeware, go play it. <laughs> 